Yeah, so where has God where has God informed you guys? So basically what I was just saying is, you know, a lot of the body of Christ lives in fear over what the government's doing, what's going on with this Ebola, all these diseases, all these plagues, all this stuff. And there's a degree of responsibility where we need not be foolish and make certain decisions. But when it comes down to it, the Word of God says, I no longer live, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. The Bible says that I am the body and that Christ is the head. It says that I am the wife of Christ and that Christ is my husband. It says in Genesis that it's not good for man to be alone. And it says that a man will leave his mother and his father and he will cleave to his wife and they will become one. We are becoming one with Christ. It says in Corinthians that we have become one spirit with the Holy Spirit. Who has greater authority than the king of a nation? Nobody. Jesus is our identity. Therefore, Satan has no authority or power over us except for the authority and power that we believe he has. He can't operate in any authority and power unless we give that to him through rejecting the reality of our identity in Christ. So my whole point is, does the government spy? Yes. Do they listen through our phones? Yes. Do they look through our, our video recorder on the top of our Macintosh computer? Yes, they do. Is Satan the god of this world? Is he the ruler of the prince of the powers of the air? Yes, he is. But I believe that my God is the one who holds the universe into reality through the power of his word and his mind. And I believe that through faith I can cancel out every work of the enemy. Wherever I am, I cancel out the work of the enemy. If disease is there, I cancel it out in Jesus' name. If sickness is there, I cancel out in Jesus' name. If someone is possessed in the name of Jesus, that is canceled out. All the apostle Peter or Paul had to do was walk by a bunch of sick people and they would all get healed. All they would need is a single handkerchief they take it to the sick person, they would get healed. Right now, there are apostles and prophets that just show up somewhere, the demons start manifesting, people start getting healed. At UTD, I'll be praying for someone, and the guy 10 feet away gets healed all of a sudden, he just says, dude, I'm healed. Whoa. We didn't even pray for him, because we are bearers of God's presence. That's awesome. Wherever we are, is, I'm a nuclear reactor of presence of God. <laughs> Everywhere I go, people are getting holy radiation. Awesome. We don't have to live in fear of Satan, period. We can operate as warriors of God, and we have a higher authority than the government of this world, period. God has shown me in Galatians 4 that we have everything we need in Him through Christ. So we have all of His resources. Mm. We have everything already done. He said it is. it was finished at the cross, and everything we need is in Him. So, um... We, uh, we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to have any fears. For uh, Actually, for three years now, God set me free from drugs, alcohol, depression, but I have been struggling with fear and worry and anxiety. But there's no reason for me to struggle with that anymore because it's all, it was all finished. So we have a tendency to want to hang on to things, but we don't have to worry, have fear, have anxiety anymore because it was all done at the cross. And he's finally showing me that. Well, actually, I'm finally receiving all of the healing and everything he's done at the cross instead of trying to, to hang on to it. So anyway, um, he, has, he has a plan for our lives. He has the right wife for us. He has a future that's unbelievable. He came to give us life and life more abundantly. Mm. And, and, and this is so amazing because I feel so free as I'm talking about this right now because our freedom, everything that we have and all of our freedom is in Him. So, so, so right when we come to Christ, right when we come to Him, we should be totally liberated and set free from everything. Amen. From all the bondage, from all the, uh, from, from all the fears, all the worries, all the gener generational curses they're not even they're, they're, when, when we are when we come to him they're not even even have access over us they're all broken everything was broken sicknesses diseases he healed me from uh, uh, bipolar disorder he healed me from Barrett's esophagus precancerous cells and he's healed me restored me uh, doing triathlons now I mean it, it's amazing <laughs> it is so amazing Praise what he God. has done my life was in shambles over three years ago. Complete shambles. Went back to drugs, alcohol, cocaine, uh, drinking every single night, smoking smoking weed, hydro, all that stuff. I don't need that. The best high I get now is the high, <laughs> the best high 
high in the Holy Ghost Praise every God. single day when I wake up and I pray and I worship Him. And it, it's Praise just so Lord. amazing. I'm so grateful to be talking about this right now. Whoa. And I want to spread this all over the world. <laughs> it's going. You know, and I give Him all the glory. All the Because I am nothing without Him and my full identity is in Him. That's right. And when we when we find our identity in Him, then everything else just it, it, it all, all comes place. together, all flows together. He says, "Delight thyself in the Lord, and He will give you all your heart's desires." We mm. got to find our identity in Him. Right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Find our identity in Him. Yeah. So that's all I got to say. Amen to, to our God. Holy One. Oh yes, and and righteous yeah. Master. Above all, and King of Kings, Lord of Lords, That's Jesus right. Christ. That's Amen. right. That's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs>